This is a acorn ring game. So these are the acorn caps from the white oak, interior canyon, interior white oak. Mm -hmm. And the idea of the game is to try and catch the rings. Caught one. Yeah. I'm William Pink. I'm descended from uh, the Alba Colony Campagno from Warner Springs. In my 20s, I went around and visited a lot of the elders and, you know, was trying to learn things as much as I could from them at that point because saw it then that we were losing a lot of information. So I spent a lot of time working with a lot of different elders actually up and down the state of California. Southern California plants are so powerful because they provide medicine, food, construction materials, tools. You know, what is technology? It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's how are certain things made, you know, um, that you have to employ certain tools to accomplish certain things as well. You know, there were no metal objects. A lot of these were done without any, any metal tools at all. So these are stalks from the dogbane plant. They grow in single stalks and they produce a uh, fiber, but it was one of the major sources of fiber for textiles in the Native American community. There's two ways of preparing the dogbane. One is kind of blistering the bark off. You don't want to scrape it. It's, it's actually, because if you scrape it, you destroy the fiber. What are you doing now? I'm spinning, I'm two-plying the cordage. Then I'm going to let you try and break it. So we can get you on film. So I, I always offer to pay $20 anybody that can break it. Well, I go home $20 richer today. <laughs> Uh, I'm Mel Vernon. I'm the captain of the San Luis Rey Band of Mission Indians. We're a Luceno tribe here in the Oceanside Vista area. We're in a place here in Vista, undisclosed area. Our tribe is uh, the stewards of this big rock behind me called Indian Rock, but I'm sure it had another name in its time. There was village sites around here and it has uh, the uh, red okra uh, drawings on it from uh, women, young women that had performed their puberty rites. And so after their completion to become a young lady, and so to take their place in the tribe, to have their status, that they would make their mark on this rock. Uh, my name is Michael Serta. I'm a tribal member of the San Luis Way Band at Luzano Mission Indians. And um, I've been uh, kind of known in the tribe for, as the, the, the plant person about at least 65 plants here on, the, on this lot, and there's a, a third of them are um, medicinal, medicinal. And science today is telling us that our ancestors were using them in the correct way. But sure enough, there's chemicals in there that, that they know that do do the healing. Anti-inflammatories, antibacteria, antimicrobial. Tell, tell us about the, this plant that's behind you. What's it called and what what does it mean to your people? It's called kutpat. Kutpat. Uh, people out there know it as the common name as elderberry. Blue elderberry, Mexican elderberry. elderberry. Um, it's medicinal. To our people, it's, it's, it's sacred because it it's saves some lives. It, it's, it's, um, it re relieves um, digestive issues, bron um, breathing, respiratory issues. Uh, it's high in vitamin C. And another plant that would heal is right next to us, and it's called huvu, huvu. Today, people know it as um, sagebrush, California sagebrush. It's a sci scientific name is Artemisia californica, and it's well known. It's well known, and because science has proven that it does do what our ancestors were using it for. What it's were it's, it's an anti-inflammatory. Okay. It's a disinfectant. I think, you know, there's a medicine there we all have that's been disconnected from ourselves in many ways. So the medicine people, and, uh, and even today, you know, uh, you have something that's wrong, or you think it's wrong, and somebody else says, no, it's just this, and you, and you feel better about yourself. Yeah. And that's a healing, pretty much an instant healing. My dad used to take us out on horseback riding back in the, in the back country. That's, that country, back then it was between Vista and Carlsbad, between Vista and uh, Oceanside, or, or San Marcos, Escondido, or Bonzo. There was nothing out there. Now it's all track homes. 